Hi, how you doing? Hey, I just want to give you the tip of the day, okay? And the tip of the day is don't let anybody give you any crap. I can't say that S word in the first 30 seconds or so, but it was important, right? Here's what I'm talking about. You're trying just as hard as you freaking can, right? It's like, or you gave up a long time ago and said, oh, fuck it. But you're here doing the best you can, trying to get by day to day, or you're really successful and things are going wonderful. But there's all this stuff coming at us from every direction. This is one hardcore planet to be trying to live on right now. And... Uh, I know you're fucking trying, or you want to try, and uh, yeah, so do the best you can, you know, not listening to anybody that's going to give you crap or put you down or uh, say you're, what you believe is bullshit or uh, how you understand life is wrong. Don't buy it, you know. You have a perspective. I have a perspective. You might believe in things I don't believe in. It doesn't mean you're fucking wrong. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. It doesn't mean you're right. It doesn't mean I'm right. But what we have is an opportunity <laughs> to struggle day to day. Oh, yeah, baby. There's no other fucking universe that you can do that every fucking day, right? Like, this place is non-stop bullshit, man. I'm just in a mode, right? I mean, uh, you know, if it's not entities, invisible motherfuckers, dead fucking ghosty fucks that are fucking with you, it's some regressive ET race getting in your head and causing you to think things and feel things and believe bullshit, or they're abducting you in the middle of the fucking night and you don't even know it, you wake up in the morning and go, what will fucking happen? And you'll see all these fucking little triangle fucking dots on your fucking arm or some shit. It's like, what the fuck, mate? It's hardcore here. And then, so you, you go, okay, you're going to be a responsible human being. And you're going to learn what the fuck is going on around here. And you're going to learn what's going on with yourself, right? So you check out this philosophy, this discipline, that study, uh, this approach to life. This structure, this system, that method. And by the end of the fucking day, you're like, Ugh. which one of these should I be doing? What? Which one's legit? Uh, who's my best go-to uh, info source on YouTube or on the Internet? Right? You don't fucking know. So you pick an ET group because, well, yeah, the ETs. Well, sure, they're smart. <laughs> yeah, but which one's... Uh, Really have your best interests to heart. Yeah. That's for you to decide. There's all kinds of motherfuckers out there, and there's all kinds of wonderful, wonderful, loving beings out there in their spaceships looking at you, looking at me, monitoring us, watching our every fucking move. Some of them are loving us and trying to reach us, some of them are loving us. And trying to eat us. Oh, man. That whole loosh thing. Earth, loosh farm. Earth, prison planet. What the fuck? Is it true? You know, my suggestion? After so many years, he's saying this now a lot. Because he's over 70 fucking five years old. And he's got a little, you know, some experience. If not wisdom, at least experience. And uh, it's like, it... Uh, what you believe matters. Not, not the truth, not the facts. What you believe matters. And if you find yourself with limiting beliefs about, you know, this is a fuck fest <laughs> and this is prison planet Earth and you got forced reincarnation uh, or you got tricked or duped and you got a mind wipe, I'm not saying that's not true. How are we going to know? It's not about what's true. It doesn't matter what's true. It's what you believe to be true. 
will play the most important part. And if you want to get into what is true, you got to understand what is real, what are facts, what is the reality of the situation. My reality, your reality. Your proof, my proof. How do you know something is true? You just fucking know it? Well, that's subjective. If somebody says, no, I have evidence, I have documentation. Well, the evidence can be fake, false. The, the movies can be special effects, Photoshop, bullshit photos, deep fake, deep voice fakes, all kinds of things. So you can't really tell except you do firsthand experience, right? And so you experience something and you come away with your conclusion about what it is. That's all that matters for now. That's going to cause you to feel certain ways and it's going to empower you or disempower you. Yeah, it's what you believe. It's, it might not be true. Oh, that was the nicest person. You're going to walk away feeling good. This person could be a fucking narcissist setting you up. But as long as you believe he's a nice guy, you're fine. So you go back. Let's, I'm going to be the devil's advocate here, and I'm going to argue with myself. Okay, Okay. let's say I think he's a nice guy and he's a fuckface. Right? So I go back to him later. He's a con man. And I give him all my fucking money. Uh, I believe in him. I believe in him, and it's all good because I'm giving him my money. I'm making an investment. He's a great guy. This is a great deal. Oh, everything's wonderful. He loves me. I love him. He, oh, what a deal. We're going to make some money together. Oh, yeah. And he's fucking you. And you don't know it yet. But tomorrow comes, and now you realize you just got fucked. Holy shit. Well, did you or did you not? Now, this might have been the greatest thing that ever happened to you. This getting screwed over by this guy might have put you on a new path of vigilance and Wisdom and study and change your personality and character because it's like really, really a fucking a bad fucking man. You go, holy fuck, I'll never do that again. And you change your whole way of dealing with people. But it plays out really well for you in the end. At the end of it, you go, you know, if, it, if I, that guy hadn't fucked me those many years ago, uh, I would have never taken this path and I would have never experienced the fulfillment or the understanding or the experience that I'm having now, which is really, really profound. It's a breakthrough in my transformation and wonderfulness, right? If you hadn't suffered those obstacles and challenges and getting screwed over and stuff like that. Right? So at the time, it seems like the truth is, oh, you fuck you. But in the big picture, you didn't fuck you. He helped you, right? Mind fuck stuff. So it really doesn't matter about what's true. It matters what you believe. Yeah. And our beliefs are going to either empower us, disempower us, limit us. Or they're just going to be kind of default neutral, like do to do whatever. So, uh, wow. Yeah. Don't, don't let anybody give you any shit. Nah, fuck them. Yeah. Uh, do your best. And uh, you're here. You're still alive. You're still breathing. You're watching videos on YouTube. That's better than being dead and fucked up, tortured or some shit, right? 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 Yeah. And if you want out of here, you want to like, today's the day for you to bail. Fucking bail. Now, how bail? Bail how? Out of where? I'm not saying. I'm not talking about any details here. But if you don't like the country you're living in, bail. If you don't like the house you're living in, get the fuck out. If you don't like the relationships you're in, bye. See you later. I'm just saying. You can move on. And if you don't like this universe, there's lots of different ways you can go on that. Yeah, yeah. You can learn how to get out of body, consciousness shift. There's all kinds of things. And uh, even in the bigger picture, you're here. You're not going to be here more than about 100 years. You know, average lifespan in a human body. Yeah. You're not going to be here that long. And it might seem like a really fucked up bad idea right now. Like why you got here, how you got here, all that shit. But in the end, you're out of here. Now, what are you going to do next? What are you going to experience next? That's going to be based on what you fucking believe about the afterlife. Yeah. And if you don't believe jack shit about it, it's going to be on default stuff that you believed long ago, maybe in an earlier lifetime, that you don't remember anymore. So you can be the effect of your own, I don't remember, stuff about your default belief systems that are going to affect 
your next life or your in-between lives or your afterlife. You don't want to be the effect of all that unknown stuff. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking before I got here because this just seems like a really bad idea. What am I doing here experiencing all this misery, suffering, pain, challenges, depression, crap, right? Right? But what if there's a bigger fucking plan and the you that you were had a really good idea? I know. I'll stick my head in that fucking shit show for a little while. <laughs> I'll take something away from it and never go back. Right? You have that choice. You have those choices in between lives. This is my belief, all right? So you can believe whatever the fuck you want about the afterlife and between lives, but I say empowering beliefs are going to help you in your life experience in this plane or any other plane way better than limiting beliefs. Yeah. Okay. So you have an opportunity here to learn new things, try on some new belief systems, and give it a shot, give it a shot, give it a shot. And you keep the ones that make you feel good or better, and you unload the rest of that crap. Yeah. Ta-da! Yeah, that's all. I was just in the mood. I wanted to share me in the mood. And uh, thank you for watching. Your comments are always welcome. What, am I doing this for fucking free? No, I'm doing it for attention. I'm doing it for mm, acknowledgement. I'm doing it for, I'm not doing it for my good fucking health. I'll tell you that. I'd be out working out, jogging if I was doing something for my good health. No, it's like everything we do in this world is a give and a take. And it's nice if you can get balance. So I like to give. You know, my point of view, you know, you should be giving, should be, right? You can be giving your point of view too, you know. And if it's empowering for you and or others, that's a good thing, right? That's what I believe. If it's good for them, but it's really bad for you, that's probably not a good thing. You kind of want balance. Good for both parties. Everybody wins. That's that's a good way to approach life. So, that's what I like to do. It makes me feel good and feel better. Feel a little satisfaction or fulfillment. Fills my basic human needs. Thank you, Tony Robbins. Yeah. And... Reciprocation, the law of reciprocation is that, hey, I get something back. I get a, thank you, Rich. Go fuck yourself, Rich. Anything, really. I prefer the positive, nice things, really. But, uh, yeah, comments and acknowledgement, you know, if you like the video. I don't say like the video if you don't like the video. But if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm, I've heard. Uh, and... Uh, you know, get more. I'll get more attention, more views. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. I hope you're having a good day. I hope this brightened your day. It shifted something in you to let you know that you know it's gonna be okay. Big picture. Maybe tomorrow it's gonna suck, just like today. But it might be a better day. But in fifty years, hundred years from now, it can be fucking way better you don't have to buy into that afterlife trap stuff and soul traps and bullshit stuff that stuff may exist sure doesn't mean you have to go like there's wars going on on this planet doesn't mean you have to like you know go over there and jump into a fucking war or going into a, a dark neighborhood it's like it's not a good idea to walk on those streets at night dude don't be going over there well, it's the same in the afterlife. You don't have to... Yeah, those places exist. You don't have to go there. So, there's a lot to learn while you're here. There's lots of opportunities to learn. So, enjoy. Have a good time. Best you can. Learn something. Empower yourself. And uh, don't let them give you any shit. Yeah, that was my message. All right. I said it. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you.